Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are here today at the corner of Huff and East 66th Street, and we're here with Mansfield Frazier. Welcome, Mansfield. Thanks for stopping past, Thomas. Talk to us about the vineyards at Chateau Huff. It's been what? Your, this is your third year now, right? Well, this is year three. This is a big year for you. Well, next year is really the big year. Next year we'll get a crop that's harvestable where we can make some wine off of them. Grapes take four years at least. Some people say five. So we're, we're looking forward to getting the harvest. We kept a, a couple of bunches of grapes, enough to make a gallon of wine just to see what it tastes like. Yeah. So we'll know what it tastes <laughs> like come next year. You don't have high hopes, though, for this, for this year's vintage, Oh, no, right? no, but we, we pinched the grapes off this year yeah. to make the vine and the root stronger. Right. And next year we'll get, oh, a couple, couple of thousand bottles of wine. Why, uh, why grapes here? Why are you doing a vineyard in the middle of the inner city and in the Huff neighborhood? It's economics. Grapes uh, are the highest dollar yield per acre. Uh, right. The grapes are the highest dollar dollar yield per acre than uh, any crop. Wine grapes, more than bell peppers, more than anything else. <laughs> and it has a lot of cachet. It does. You're getting a lot of attention. Oh, a tremendous amount of attention. Congratulations on the Oprah story, the, <laughs> her O magazine. What is that thing? It's like millions yeah. of subscription, and they did a beautiful piece on the, on you guys, huh? That was a good story. That was a good story, and I'm looking forward to the New York Times really? Sunday magazine. That should come out in a couple of weeks, about a month. Well, this is groundbreaking for a couple of reasons. A, you're, you're doing a vineyard in the middle of the city. It's not an urban garden. It's not no. vegetables, right? Right. right. Uh, and also, you're working with uh, re-entry folks, right? The guys from the halfway house, Oriana House, actually built it for me. Right. And they tend it. They, uh, they come and tend the vines. And I get some other volunteers also. Some people from Case worked on it. It's kind of intergenerational and it's intercultural. So I like to blend people from different backgrounds and they work side by side and get to know each other a bit. You built a house here in Huff. Yeah. Uh, you, you got the city to turn this land over. You had a great idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see how the wine turns out. But in oh, the meantime, yeah. you've achieved a lot of your goals, haven't you? I've, I've won already. I know so many more people than I, when I started the project. I have so many more friends in the neighborhood. So no matter how the wine, if it's bad wine, we'll make vinegar. We'll make great vinegar. So <laughs> I can't lose. And what was your saying you, you always quote about you don't have to move to... Majora Carter. Yeah. You, should, you shouldn't have to move to live in a better neighborhood. And you've made this neighborhood better. Yeah. Talk about uh, this really groundbreaking idea of the bio cellar, because we've got houses like this one behind oh, you yeah. here. The house behind us, we want to take and turn that into a bio cellar. You tear down the house, you leave the basement, because nothing freezes once you're four foot in the ground. Right. So on that basement floor, it stays a constant 55, 57 degrees. We'll put a slanted glass roof over it, and we're going to grow shiitake mushrooms in it. And we're going to try some strawberries and see what other crops, because, you know, with the 8,000 teardowns they got in Cleveland, we probably could use... 20% of those to turn them into profit centers. You've got 8,000 vacant homes just in the city of Cleveland. That, that'll be beyond repair. And there's some in the in the suburbs. There's some and, in the suburbs. And, and, and there's more coming online. A thousand more every year. Yeah, right. Coming online. And now multiply that by how many urban centers there are uh, throughout and suburban areas right, as well. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And these houses have to come down. Right. This is a fabulous idea. You're working with some great partners here. Oh, I have some. I have some wonderful partners. The uh, Cleveland Urban Design Collaborative. Jean Lauria is a, bi a biologist. She works over at Case. She knows what she's doing. She'll be managing the bio cellar and doing the uh, mushrooms. So it's mushrooms at first, but you can do a lot of other stuff. You can grow vegetables oh, in we, here, We're right? going to try. It, 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 it's a prototype. We're going to see what works best, mm -hmm. but mushrooms is the cash. We know we can get cash <laughs> from mushrooms, but we're going to see whatever else works in there also. Can yeah. be a, it could be even a sauna. I mean, they do the they, heat in the generated. sauna, but they're also there. It's a great wine cellar for the wine are aging. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the perfect temperature to age wine. So This is great. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, thank you for writing for Cool Cleveland. You're... you're, you're absolutely on these issues Thank you're you. absolutely fearless we count on you we get so many folks that are clicking through and reading the stories that you write every week that's i want to thank man. you publicly for all the work you've done for cool cleveland for years but you don't stop there you don't just hide behind your computer and and throw stuff out you are out in the community doing stuff what is next for you because you're an interesting guy to follow what is what is your next move here. After the bio cellar, which is almost a done deal, not quite, uh, 
I don't want to be like the I don't want to be like the kid that my father was telling me about that was fishing, and the man comes past and said, "How many fish you got?" And the young kid says, "As soon as I catch this one that's biting, and two more, I'll have three. Well, I don't want to be like that kid. I don't want to count my chickens for their hat. No. But up the street there's a fire station, and it's closed. And I'd like to take that fire station and turn it into my winery and a small restaurant, a little tasting room and a small restaurant. And for some reason, I think you're going to do it. <laughs> I think we better listen when you talk. Well, a little, with a little luck and a lot of patience and some maneuvering, and I've got a great support team. You do, and you yes. got a lot of friends, and you're doing a friend raiser coming up here. So the 26, October 26, everybody can come on by. We'll have some wine that my winemaker made, and from some other. Uh, wine, and we're awesome. going to have a great time. All right. Thanks for talking, man. Right. We'll All talk right. to you soon. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.